Path reinforcement allows us to specify a path which the structural members will follow and then auto-populate themselves. In this example, we'll do this with rebar along the edge of our concrete slab. So in order to be able to do it, let's first go to our first floor plan. Next, the reason why we needed to go to the first floor is because technically we can actually see our floor here. I know it's a little bit hard to see here in the image, but if we decided to come down here and then uh, turn on our shaded graphic display style, we can then see this is where the floor is located at. Now let's go ahead and shut that back off just for right now. We'll just turn this into a wireframe view so that we can easily see the rebar once it's created. Now we'll zoom in here and we're going to execute the reinforcement path command from underneath the structure tab. Once you execute that command, it's going to ask you to select on the floor that we want to be able to uh, place this in. And in fact, that message is just right down here near where your start menu probably is at. Now you can come up here and click. It just selected the floor. You can see it's all grayed out. Now we have the structural path reinforcement. This happens to be all the properties associated with this rebar that's getting ready to be placed. In this case, they happen to be size number four. It says what their length is going to be. Is it going to be at the top face of the wall or at the top face of the floor in this case, or at the bottom face of the floor? And different properties associated with this rebar, its shape, and what its length should be. Now what it wants us to do is specify what the length of this path needs to be. So in order to do that, we can come up here and just draw a line. I will point out that technically we could also use this pick lines tool if we just had a line already on the screen. We could select that line and it would automatically draw the line for us. But in this case, we'll just draw it out. So just pick the line. Let's come over here to the intersection here, which is the edge of the slab. And now just draw a line straight across and then pick the endpoint of this slab. Once you've done that, that's pretty much all that you need to do except to come up here and select on the big green check mark. And when you've done that, it'll automatically space that rebar out as well as give you the note saying what the rebar spacing is there inside of the slab. In fact, if we take a look at this in a 3D view now, we can move over here, sort of spin the model around and zoom in and we can see that spacing as well as how it ends up curving itself down and around the edge of the slab. So, path reinforcement automates the tedious task of placing rebar at continuous spacing.